This week's parasha, parashat Vayelech. We have a connection to last week's parasha, parashat Nisavim. In last week's parasha is a very famous text which talks about the, the Jewish people. It says, Ki hazot asha anuchim tabcha hayom lo nifret him imchav lo rochokahi lo bashamayim hi lemor mi aleno hashamayma and then it says, The Pesukim are basically telling us last week, in Vayelech, in the end of Vayelech, it says, when a person wants to do Teshuvah, especially now, many of us are thinking of Teshuvah, working on Teshuvah during Aseret Yemei Teshuvah, between Hashem Yom Kippur, the ten days of awe, the great days that Hashem gave us, a person sometimes may have an excuse to say, oh, you know, I got to go here, I got to go Bashamayim, I need a, uh, as the Sforno says, I need a prophet to help me do Teshuvah, I need a Leon Avit to help me do Teshuvah, I need a Malach to help me do Teshuvah, or maybe Ever Hayam, I need to go to the other side of the ocean, I need to go to Israel. You know, here in New Jersey, I can't do Teshuvah, but in Israel, there's a lot of rabbis, a lot of Yeshivot, I could do Teshuvah, I could do more, more Mitzvot, learn more Torah. That's what a person might think, a person might say, the Pasuk teaches us, that a person should not say that. Love Bashamayim. Lo me'ever hayam. It's not. You don't have to go in the heavens. You don't have to get a sign, a clear sign from God to improve. You don't need to go across the ocean to improve. Rather, how does a person improve? Ki karov elecha ha'davar me'od. Beficha u'bivavecha. A person's mouth and a person's heart. A person's mouth and a person's heart. It's up to us and only us to do teshuvah. We have the power within us. We have to start repenting in the heart. We have to start realizing and, 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 and talking with our mouth the sins that we did and recognizing them and starting telling Hashem that we're ready to improve. Now, fast forward to this week's parasha, parashat Vayelech, there's a very, very similar pasuk. And at first, they may sound like the Jewish people are repenting. It says in the pasuk, the Jewish people are, are, Hashem is angry at them, and they're going through, God forbid, terrible, terrible things. And what's going to happen on that day? They're going to say, oh, ki en elokai bi ki bi. You know why all these bad things are happening? Because Hashem is not with me. That's what the Jewish people would say. Hashem says, all these terrible things are going to happen, and you're going to say, Hashem is not with me. So one might think, one might think, the Jewish people are doing teshuvah. They're saying, oh, Hashem is not with me. And hopefully he'll, be, he'll come back. But then the next pasuk teaches us something. The next pasuk says, V'anochi haster astir panai bayom hahu. Akor hara asher asa. Hashem says, no, no, no. I'm going to keep hiding my face. And the reason is that when the Jewish people are saying in this pasuk, the warning is that when Jewish people are saying, Hashem is not with me, and that's why there's terrible things, it's not talking about when they're doing Teshuvah. It's talking about where they're finding an excuse. They're saying, oh, you know why all this terrible is happening? Because Hashem is not with me. It's an excuse. Just like last week's parasha, it says, no excuses. Don't say you need Teshuvah. You need to go to the other side of the world. You need an angel. You need a malach. You need a prophet to help you out. The Teshuvah starts with you and only you. So in this week's parasha, again, when it says Hashem is angry at us, Hashem says, because you didn't learn your lesson. And after all the evil that happened... What did you do? You said, oh, Hashem is not with me. And that's why the evil happened. That's why Hashem says, I will turn my face. But when we are ready to turn around and to realize that it's in our heart, it's in our mouth, it's up to us to do Teshuvah, that's when things will change. And that, that's when things will improve. And that's when things will get better. That's a beautiful Dvar uh, Torah I learned from Rabbi Yisach, friend. There's a, I'd like to share with you, it was my mother's yard site a few days ago, the first uh, one year since my mother passed away. And I was thinking about my mother in these, these words of last week's parasha, that were also tied into this week's parasha, that beficha o bivavecha la soto, ki karav elecha hadavar meod, beficha o bivavecha la soto. My mother always lived, this is how she lived. Hashem was always in her heart, Hashem was always in her mouth. There was no such thing as excuses. Anything that happened, God forbid, that was bad. My mother was sick. She always said, it's from Hashem. Gamzu tova, It's going to get better. 
And that's the attitude a person is supposed to have. When something bad happens, we don't start distancing God, we don't start finding excuses, and we don't start saying that we need to go to the other side of the planet in order to improve. Rather, we have to look inwards, not outwards. We have to look inwards in ourselves. It's in our heart, in our mouth. Together, may us and the Jewish people, may be zoche, to do teshuvah properly in our ben adam l'makom and ben adam l'havero, in our mitzvot to Hashem, in our mitzvot to other Jewish people, that we become united. And may the geulah shleimah, come to us. Amen.